This is a disaster for humanitarian reasons. This is a disaster for our credibility. Uh, can you imagine what our allies in Taiwan or Ukraine or other places are thinking right now? They're terrified. So the blood that's on Biden's hands are the Americans that he's leaving behind, the allies that he's abandoning, the future Americans that are going to be hit in our homeland. And what makes me so mad is the future soldiers that are gonna to have to go back and deal with this problem. But this time we have no bases, no local allies because they've been hunted down and a terrorist army armed to the teeth with our equipment. Thousands and thousands and thousands of Afghans that helped us over the last 20 years that were reassured that we were gonna get them out of there. Now they're living under Taliban rule. Well, a lot of them, their families are being persecuted, tortured, are gonna be killed. These people are gonna be so bitter towards the United States for walking away and leaving them. Some of these people that have been our allies in Afghanistan will become our enemies. I think as nations across the globe look at U.S. policy, what they're asking themselves is, is the United States tactical and strategic and, and fighting hard to achieve strategic objectives that make the world safer, that make the U.S. and its allies safer, that domestically makes their homeland safer? Or are the people that are in charge so focused on political optics that they're going to allow the greatest nation on the face of the earth to end its century of leadership across the globe. First off, Biden never served one day in our boots. So he has no idea what it means to wear the nation's cloth. We can't forget that. Two, uh, those that do serve, those that are around him, his advisors, the, you know, the generals, I like to call them the generals around him, they're given the same advice that, that we all are given. You know, the August 31st deadline doesn't work. Intelligence shows that the country is falling apart. Uh, Americans are at danger. It's arguably more dangerous now in Afghanistan than it was 20 years ago. It's no different than in the southern border. You know, he has failed to listen to those that live and work and operate on the southern border in the same manner that he has failed to listen to those uh, experts in Afghanistan. And it's gonna cause, it's gonna cause people to die. It's gonna cause bloodshed. Going forward, we will have to regain the trust of our allies and people around the world to ensure that they know that we're strong and we have your back. This has done damage to our reputation as a nation on supporting and staying true to our allies. And I just like to ensure that our allies know we're gonna be there for them.